Woo, say hi to everybody. What's up everyone? <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday, heading into the weekend, and we just got done with an F45 workout. Oh, it was rough, you guys. Very rough. A little workout buddy loves going to F45 and listening does. to the music and hanging out. We've been, this whole week, we took him to our class every day, and he literally is like an angel. He just like sits, I think he likes the music actually, and um, he'll fall asleep like halfway through, and we just keep him right there. He's so easy. Oh, doesn't he's cry, tired. doesn't fuss, nothing no. like that. And I think he likes it because Julia's whole pregnancy, she was in the gym at a 45 and the music was going yeah. and he was dancing in the belly and now Maybe he's dancing, dancing in real life. That's right. But I'm about to feed him and we got some errands we're going to run today. <laughs> mm, hi. What'd you think? You see yourself, smokers? Happy September. It's first day of September. Oh, that's right. Happy September, smoke. It's does, fall. Does September signify the first day of fall? I don't think so, but you know, September traditionally. Oh, wow. Oh, good job. Yeah, yeah. you want to show off for the camera. Oh. This is so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go feed this little man. Okay. And I'm um, making breakfast. Let's make it. Is this from his food. diaper earlier or just no? Or is it from know. my wrist? What I have what? I don't know. Anyway. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm gonna feed him. You're gonna make some brekkie yeah. and we got some errands we're gonna run. We got a whole list of things we gotta do. Yes. So, let's get to it. Counting along, singing a counting song. Let's count the cars with puppy and sis. Alright, I'm making my favorite breakfast. <laughs> Do you want one of my, my breakfast salads? Yes, you have to egg bite bitches. Hunter is an egg bite hater, you guys. He doesn't like egg bites. He, well, I, I kind of get it, but like, I love them. He thinks they're weird. Well, you know, I don't mind them. I just feel like the ingredients are bad. Yeah, they probably are. And I have an autoimmune disease, if y'all don't. Oh my god, <laughs> literally. Okay, this is my favorite breakfast. It's so easy. I'm gonna show you guys. Well, I've probably showed it a million times, but I make it every morning. I need my, so my breakfast quinoa. Ugh. Okay, so what you need Starbucks egg bites in the air fryer. Key. Free eating right now. When she gets her Starbucks egg bites, if you didn't watch the last video, she gets them from Costco. Right. And they're, they taste exactly the same. I know people were asking for a review of them. Oh yeah, I was laughing because people, I posted the Starbucks egg bites and people goes, please review. I'm like, they're the, they're the Starbucks egg bites. They're the same exact thing. Same exact thing. But they're wanting to know, do they taste the same? Maybe, yeah. I know. Maybe I don't No, know. do they? I'm not saying Oh yeah, they, they, they are the exact same thing. Um, so we're going to pop these babies in the air fryer. My beloved air fryer. My beloved air fryer that I love so much. And... I get these little liners just on Amazon. And then the air fryer is so easy. It's like, oh, I just love how easy and fast it is. If you have a dorm if you're in college, I'd be great. Oh my god. I mean, you could eat so healthy. You could like pop vegetables and fish and like in there, like chicken breasts and just shove it all in, cook it. It'll cook to perfection. Actually, Hunter and I, I would love to do the whole 30 again with the air fryer because I feel like it'd be so easy. You could just like, season some like veggies and some protein stick it in there it'll be cooked to perfection mm -hmm. um oh it's just so good singing a counting song we went from listening to post mode morgan wallen to <laughs> spin around spin around, around now spin around to colors colors <laughs> it's for smokers he loves it it's just funny our, our just our life has changed it is changed so we're gonna start with some Spring mix. Okay, and I like kind of rip the leaves because they're pretty chunky and it just makes it easier to eat. But I just got to start Costco. I'm gonna do some avocado oil and a little lemon. I don't have my dressing prepped, but um, if I did, I would use that. So. Okay, and lemon. That will be the dressing. Toss it all together. Mix it up now. Mix it up. Mix it up now. Then we're gonna get our avocado prepped. A quarter of an avocado, so like half of a half. 
on top of the avocado, I'll do a little Cholula. And then I'll put the egg bites right there and then eat it all together. It's so good. All right, while well, we're waiting for our egg bites to cook. A little workout outfit of the day. Set active onesie romper thing. Um, I don't know what material this is from them, but I really like it. It's super flattering. It's not their ribbed material. It's like softer than that. Um, and then this Abercrombie oversized crew neck that I have from last winter. Um, it's like actually like, it was like 70 something this morning, so I needed a sweatshirt. And then my Hoka's, just all white and crew socks. Nice and comfy. Love set active, their stuff's really good. Um, I actually wanna do like a little order from there and get some new workout clothes. They have really good colors, different patterns, styles, and some of the other brands that I wear, so I need to do that. Never gets old, look how stunning. Okay, ladies and gents, here she is. The most perfect breakfast on the planet. Bon appetit. We're gonna play on our gym for a little bit. Hey, Booker. Oh, do you love your ball? Hi, Booker. What do you think? Who knew that a chain and a ball could be so entertaining? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Loves it. <laughs> okay, while we play, I thought I'd give some little smoky updates. He's doing really good. He's super cute. Oh, did you just smile for your chain? You love it. Um, he is, let's see, what is he now? He is exactly three months and I think like a few days. So he's right around the three month mark, not rolling over yet. Um, we heard him laugh like one or two times, which you guys saw in the Florida vlog if you watched that. It was so cute. I like about died. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to figure out like ways to play with him more now that he's a little bit more aware and awake. I feel like his schedule is, he's not really on a permanent schedule, but I find that his, he's pretty like routine with um, when he falls asleep and when he's awake. So right now I would say his schedule is pretty much like this. So he wakes up between 6.30 and 7.30 um, and then he'll nap pretty much while, right when we're at the gym. So around 8.45 is usually when he falls asleep He'll sleep through the whole class. We usually like wake him up or he sleeps when we put him back in the car and then wakes back up when we get home, like 9.30. Oh, I know. Um, and then we'll play, like we're playing right now. He'll go back down at 11 for another nap. Wakes up at 12.30-ish. Um, and sometimes the naps are 45 minutes. Sometimes we get an hour and a half. Sometimes they're two hours. Sometimes they are 30 minutes. It literally just depends on the day. Like last night he slept one of his naps was like three hours, one was 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> so it's all over the board. But he's basically sleeping a total of like five hours during the day out of, of naps. Um, and then he, we're trying to get him on an earlier bedtime schedule, like 8.30, um, but we're working on that. Cause Hunter and I, like when he was a newborn, he was um, going to bed at like 10 or 11 because that's when we do his last feed. And so we're having to kind of try to move that up and we want to get to bed at like nine. So I want him to go to bed at 8.30 and sleep all the way till 6.30, but we're, we're working on it. So we're trying to get there next. Um, and yeah, I don't know. He did fall asleep at like 7.45 the other night, but then he woke up at 1 a.m. wanting a bottle because I don't think he was full enough. So we gotta play around with it a little bit, um, the timing, but it just adjusts as he gets older. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Um, he loves this little play gym. We do this a lot in his little wake windows. We'll play. I have a playlist of like Fisher Price songs that I'll sing with him and I'll sing to him. We'll read books. Um, he'll watch us cook. Little things like that. I also got this crab off Amazon, which you guys have probably seen <laughs> on Instagram. He loves watching that for tummy time. Actually, we should do our first tummy time session of the day, shouldn't we? Well, maybe we'll wait till you get sick of this, and then you <laughs> love that chain, <laughs> and then we'll do some tummy time. 
Tummy time is actually the hardest thing to do. Obviously, they don't really like it because it's hard. Um, so you're supposed to do like, I think I've read, they're supposed to do like 30 minutes of tummy time a day. I'm like, there's no way. I can get maybe like 15 minutes out of him all broken up like five, five, five. Um, but then he hates it and I don't want him to like cry and be upset. So any tips for tummy time, let me know. Um, and also, I'm just now getting into the, like now the more alert he gets, I want to kind of educate myself on like how to play with him better. Um, I want to like make sure he's developing and, and I like setting up activities and stuff for him. So if you guys have any recommendations like people to follow or um, like YouTube channels even, people that, their moms that are good at like child development and stuff or you can get ideas for activities let me know because i'm sort of like scraping at the dirt here i'm like trying to figure out I'm like how many times we play with the stamp chain you know what i'm saying so i know it doesn't need to be like innovative but i guess like i get bored of the little activities even though he loves this chain you love your ball and chain you love never seen someone love a chain more you love your chain <laughs> yeah Wee 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 wee. He like straight up smiles. Who knew? Love you. You want to me with the cardboard? Not really. Okay, down for nap number one. It's ten fifty. So, gotta get some shit done while he's sleeping. Um, first up, I need to make the bed. Because I didn't have time this morning. We have been trying to get up earlier, like I said. So, we've been um, getting up at like 6.30. And, oh, we get coffee before we go to the gym. And I just didn't have time to make the bed. So, here we go. So as you guys know, we're big, big fans of Brooklinen around here. Um, all of our bedding in the house is from them. I have them on the guest bed in our master bedroom. Um, and honestly, I've had their bedding on our beds in the last three houses that we've lived in. I just feel like if you're looking for good sheets and pillowcases and like core staple bedding, they are the best. Everything down to the comforter insert, the pillow inserts, pillow cases, sheets, duvet cover, literally everything is Brooklyn in. And then I add like my own decorative stuff on top to layer, but it's the best like solid core basics for your linen closet. Um, and it's all 20% off because they're having their Labor Day sale this weekend. And I might think that's the best time to like stock up on any of their stuff is during their sales. They only do like very few per year. So I would take advantage if you've been wanting to try their stuff. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I'm psycho about bedding because my mom is like a linen crazy person and i grew up she had like so many linens and so i know my linens and i love brooklyn and stuff so we did their luxe sateen bedding set um i love their pillow inserts i do the um i'm pretty sure mine is the plush so it's like the softest insert of a pillow and hunter likes the mid plush we have two different um firmnesses on each side we have the all season duvet insert. I find that that's really moderate and good for all seasons. Like we don't have to change it out for winter or summer. And the sheets, just the more you wash them, they get better and better and like softer. They're 480 thread count. They're just cooling. They're so comfortable. They're just perfect. I have the exact same ones, Lux Sateen on the downstairs bedroom, guest bedroom, but just in the ivory color. These are the pure white um, and they're so pretty. We also love their super plush towels. Um, we've got them on our like sides of our sinks in the hand towel size. Um, this is their super plush as well in a stripe pattern that they did a while back. I don't think it's in stock anymore because it was limited edition. Um, and then all of our back stock of our towels are also Brooklyn and the best bath towels just 
home essentials, um, really, really plain core staples for your house. So um, you guys make sure you take advantage of the sale, 20% off until September 6th. If you're watching this after that, you can still get um, a discount on your order. I will leave my code below in case you're watching this later, but take advantage of the sale. Promise you will not be sorry. I've owned Brooklyn Inn stuff for over three years and I ride or die. It's just, it's so great. Um, I love the Luxe Sateen, like I said, but you can get lots of different textures and fabrics of different sheets depending on your preference for how you like to sleep. Okay, bed is made. And I just put on a hat. I need to like run some more errands. We're having a busy day and I'm like not about to get all showered up and everything. You cannot see anything there. So I put on a hat. I've got this just tied around my waist and then I was thinking about just throwing on some Adidas or sneakers. Checkers could be cute. I don't know if they look like with crew socks though. I haven't worn my checkered bands yet. If you missed my athleisure haul, I did an athleisure haul and I showed my little checkered bands. I just love checkers. Okay, boy mom outfit. Can you tell? Um, wait, it's actually so cute. I love. My anklet is Lily class, by the way. Love her stuff. Okay, wait, this is like a cute casual monk fit. Set active romper, checkered bands. She's cute. Put on my little S necklace. Did I leave downstairs? Found it. Okay, uh, my little S necklace I've been wearing lately, by the way. Just got it in um, from Miranda Fry. It's a really good price point too if you want a little initial with your baby's initial or your boyfriend or something. Ooh, um, I have a code with them, Julia, and it'll get you I think 15% off. And I think they might even be having like a Labor Day sale. I don't know, check for all the discounts, but I'll link the necklace situation below, but really cute. And then just my watch, my Amazon ring, and we're good to go for the day. Okay, I'm about to get the rug out of the washing machine. This is our runner from the downstairs kitchen. Um, if you guys followed along our moving journey when we moved in, this is from Rugs USA and it's washable. So I literally just washed and bleached the kitchen runner because it gets really dirty because we wear our shoes in the house and we're idiots and we need to stop doing that and probably take off our shoes when we come inside but we don't so shit i think i just left my phone upstairs i don't want to go back up there fresh and clean it's so easy that you can just like put it in the washing machine now granted it's probably not the smartest thing to have a cream rug in the kitchen but you know i like that it looks like clean and fresh i don't mind washing it too it's really easy Nice and clean. Looks great. That needed a good washing. The thing that's hard is to find rugs that are like runners that are long enough that aren't literally like two thousand dollars. So um, this one's literally like under a hundred bucks, you guys. And just for like a high traffic area and to be able to wash it and it's probably spit up on it and all this stuff. But I might switch it out eventually once it starts to get too dingy. But if you get a darker color, maybe for like the kitchen, that would be good. But yeah, it's been great for now. Um, no complaints here. All right, folks. The okay. boxes are broken down. We're gonna go run some errands. We gotta drop the cardboard off at the recycling center. Yeah, fun fact, um, Nashville is like the, it's like known to have like the worst recycling system. There is only recycling in certain areas of the city um, and they pick it up like once every other month. It's a hot mess. So yeah. you basically have to drop off your recycling. And where we used to live, our first house in Nashville, Green Hills, they would pick it up once a month. In yes. Texas, it was every week. That's right. But anyways, where we are now, there's no recycling pickup. So you just take all your recycling to the recycling center, mm -hmm. which isn't that big of a deal. We have no. more recycling than what would even be able to fit in the, a normal the recycling because so, we get so many packages. Even when we had recycling coming through and picking it up, we'd have to go to the recycling center. So yes. anyways, we're off to the recycling center to drop off our cardboard. We do it like once every couple weeks. Yeah. Um, so we're heading to do that. I gotta stop at the bank again. You're gonna get some sunglasses. Yes, I did I tell them about sunglasses? Well, anyways, there's these Celine sunglasses that I have been wanting for a while now, probably like two months. I've seen them on Pinterest, on Instagram. They're kind of like a niche sunglass, but they're just like 
I, I right when I saw them I was like oh I, I need those so um, I had to be on a wait list and wait for the glasses to come in and they just arrived so I'm gonna go pick them up and I'm very excited so you, you already purchased them yeah I already paid for them and everything um, and I had to wait for them to, to come in so so we have about an hour before yeah, I have someone's a meeting, coming by I have a meeting at 1 30 for my closet clean out which um, I cleaned out my closet recently I do about two closet sales a year and I'm doing another one in September so the woman that helps me sell all of our stuff is coming to pick up all the clothes so we have to get back by 1 30 to do that and I would love to get a second coffee I am tired this week you guys I feel like I cannot catch up yeah it's this has just been a crazy busy week we've had a lot of work to catch up on since yeah. Florida and it is finally the end of the month yesterday and we're wrapping up a couple things from last month yep but it's the start of the month and we can breathe so this weekend should be fun we got some college football mm. I'm excited for I'm yeah. excited for just the TCU game tomorrow they're playing Colorado oh that's the one tomorrow which is now coached by Deion Sanders I, I grew up with Deion's kids and Deion lived right behind me as a kid he had this like huge property and we just lived in like a you know basic neighborhood but our fence line backed up to his fence line, so I used to like jump over into his backyard and like fish from his pond when I was a kid. That's right. And then coincidentally, we went to TCU. So yeah. Seeing his like childhood. It's kind of cool. Neighbor, so kinda cool and then seeing... also our school. It's cool. Well, Deion Sanders, it's like a big deal that he's coaching there now, and this is his first game. Yeah. As the coach, and it's against TCU, so exactly. it'll be a fun game to watch. Um, and then we also maybe should hit the pool once or twice this weekend. I know, I'd love to hit the pool. We don't want to lose our Florida tan, so we want to get to the pool one day. We'll also just want to take advantage of like the, warm the remaining sunny days I before know. it gets like too cool in the fall. I agree. And I it's agree. Labor Day weekend. Exactly. Is it Labor Day or Memorial Day? It's Labor Day. Labor Day. When's Memorial Day? I don't, I just... That's I, at the beginning of summer, They isn't confuse it? me, I don't know. I, I think Labor Day is... Labor Day is the one that, like, ends the mark, like, kind of the summer, because everyone's like, don't wear white after Labor Day, even though I don't do that, but... I feel like I don't pay attention to much as the holidays as I used to. Like, when we were in corporate jobs, you're, like, looking forward to, like, those days off of I Labor know. Day or whatever. And then, yeah. And then now, like, as, you know, being self-employed and entrepreneurs or whatever, running our own business, those days don't really seem like holidays. They don't. Other than the fact that like brands and stuff we work with are usually off and we're not like in conversation with them. Yeah. But we're still working. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'd like to have like a little bit of a fun weekend too. Like yeah, maybe some pool time. I wanna do some vintage shopping. Um and just kind of enjoy. Do some things around the house. It does feel weird when like your friends go out of town on holiday weekends and then you're in town by yourself and you're like, Oh, everyone's off. I know. It's we, weird. we always feel that way, like during um like fourth of july if we don't have something or like i, don't know. I know it's always weird being alone on holidays even though we have that our little family but yeah yeah anyways off to do some chores so let's go to get my glasses. We're <laughs> walking down this hill, Hunter goes, <laughs> look what happens if you let go of the stroller. Just, Wee! <laughs> Let's go, someone's going to sleep. All right, Bottega. I have like a little dupe version of one of these bags and like the shoulder, like bigger size. I have the Jody, but I it's very practical and I grab for it all the time. So I kind of want to see, she's grabbing the bigger size. I want to see what it looks like on because this is a little awkward this is the teen size okay she said it comes in a corduroy um i would die for that so let's see but the black is kind of cute Super cool. We just had it in. Yeah. 
Okay, this is so random, but these are by Golden Goose. They're kind of amazing. I'm looking for more flat shoes because they're really hard to find that are like flattering and cute. Um, these look really nice. I like how, oh, it's my size. Maybe I should just slow it on. All right, I don't know if they suit me. They kind of look like rain boots or something. I don't know. They're cute, but maybe it's not his outfit. I have to like denim shorts and that. I don't know. They kind of look like a riding boot, too. A little too much for me. But they're pretty. I really like these hokas. The colors. Really cute. Are they hiking shoes? I don't even really care. I just love the colors. I'm gonna try those on. Okay, I'm trying on these boots at Nordstrom. They're by Steve Madden. I need more flat shoes. This is my goal for fall is to find more cute flat shoes so flat boots i really like them from the side and they're like nice color and everything but i just can't tell if they look funny on me like <laughs> looking at them i can't figure it out i don't know it's like is it the toe they look cute from the side like, I would want to wear them with casual stuff like this, but I probably would need more of like a, I'd probably look cute with a sweatshirt on here. Yeah, I think that like the cut is almost weird. The length? The length. I really like the color a lot. All right, mom making some hokas. She's pan up there. They didn't have her size, so she's ordering them to be delivered. Smoke is snoozing. And I got a bathing, a couple of bathing suits, a t-shirt, and some Nikes. Okay, we're walking to dinner. I got it. It's a lovely, beautiful night out while well, it's warm. And yeah, we decided to just walk down for a little dinner. We are exhausted. We've just had a long week between work Baby, you guys know how it goes, so we're tired. I fell asleep on the couch today. I am exhaust. I had to pull mom to walk to dinner. No, you didn't. She wanted to be late for the night. I literally never she said one to thing. Order take out again. Okay, you're being such a loser today. <laughs> I can't even handle it. It's so annoying. <laughs> Somebody got new shoes. They're very excited about it. I like them. And this little guy's all ready to go too, so. We're gonna take our little walk. We are at one of our favorite spots in 12 South called A Piece. I think we showed this in a recent vlog, maybe a few weeks ago. Did we come here for lunch in a vlog? Yeah, or dinner. Actually. Dinner. It was like when we, when he was really, really little, and we went out to dinner for like one of the first times we brought him over here. Yeah. Well, we brought him here with your mom that one time early on, like the first week he was born. We brought him a few times. He's, he's a regular. Here and Rolf and Daughters are his his two go-tos. Ain't that right? Nuts. Ow. Okay, got the falafel, the hummus, the veggies, and it comes with some pita. I got a kombucha, and Julia got some wine. They, they have a really good or a red, it's a chilled red wine. Yes. So good. It's under the red wine section, it says serve chill. Yeah. 
rocking him to sleep and it's now from the middle of the day, I'm like, this is what it's all about. Oh, you see me here? Best smile in town. Best smile in town. Alright. So I am gonna sleep. Really good. Yeah. Here's little man. Getting his lotion. Getting his lotion. Don't get too cold. Yeah. Get under your chin. Okay. Oh, Aww. Okay. Get Hello. Such a good brother. I started calling you Brother Booker. Brother Booker. <laughs> You're so sweet. You're like a reverend. You, he is, I know. Brother Booker. I'm gonna sit here and be love on your little brother. Hello. 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 Let's go. All ready for bed. Ready, buddy? Let's ready, go. Ready, Booker? Come on, Brother Booker. Happy Saturday, friends. What's this place? Cute outfit. With all, what's the place with all the glass? Oh, anthropology. Sure. You, that's like, you wear that shit. You already wear something like that. I think it's cute, I like it. Obviously, a particular style, don't I? Um, We've had it up to here. With each other. With each other. But we're keeping it, like, when it's you say not that, getting serious. When you say that, I've had it up to here with you, yeah. you like, show here. Right. Like, I've had it up to here with you. Yeah, you should be like, I've had, had it up, up to here. I don't have to hear. No, no. I think I just went like that. I don't have to hear with you. I don't know why, what that means. Anyways. I have been exhausted. Julie's been exhausted. And I don't and know what that, it is. Because of everything I say annoys her. I've also been trying to screw with her and like have fun and joke around a little too much. I, I, on the Bible, since Smoke has been born, I have not been this tired. This week has been my most tired out of the first three months of my life. I think you might be pregnant again. I'm nervous that you're pregnant again. Let me rephrase that. I can't be pregnant. I'd be... I know. You can be. It's possible. Well, it's possible, but, but I, in my brain, we I can't were, be pregnant. We've been really careful. I don't want to be pregnant. Like, Wait, where do you get a pregnancy I'm test? I'm not even ready. CBS, and I actually had to get some dry shampoo so quickly. Mm -hmm. Guys, I just want to make sure that, that would you're not, not be the vibe. Like we were literally wanting to wait till smoke was like three to do baby number two. Um, but it puts it in perspective. It really shows us like the the thought of you possibly being pregnant makes me not want a second for a while. I know. So, or it makes me realize that I don't want a second for a while. Agree. Oh, here's Walgreens. Um, do you do CVS? I don't like Walgreens. It's the same shit. I don't. I don't like like the vibe of. Tell me. Walgreens. Tell me what is the difference? For Walgreens you? just doesn't have good energy. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't. And like, I don't like that parking lot. I don't like that location. If I was to pull, pull, try to pull into CVS, you would have been like, I don't like that go to Walgreens. Every move I no, make I like, today I like is just in opposite mode. <laughs> we just left Whole Foods. Smokey is sleeping. Um, and I went to Brady Belleville, and I got new pillow shams, so let's show those when I get home. I've what, been wanting to, like, do up our bed a little what'd bit. What'd you get at Brady Belleville? I got some basics. They have really good basics. You've had bad BL today. What's BL? Body language. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that truck's gonna fuck it up. Dude, just go. let me get in here. Come on, brother. Let me go. Thank Come you. on, we really need to get Thanks, some dry shampoo. Bye. Appreciate it. Thank um, you, brother. I've tried to take a nap for 30 minutes. I literally put my phone down and I laid there for 30 minutes and I couldn't fall asleep. 30 minutes. You've got that BL today. Okay, you're weird. <laughs> you got some stinky body. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am making dinner tonight. Julia was craving burgers, and so I'm gonna make some smash burgers. I'm caramelizing some onions right now. I chopped in pre, I guess like prepared some french fries for the air fryer. Never done it before, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Basically, I cooked them in hot water for 10 minutes, and now I've patted them dry. And we're gonna throw them in the air fryer with a little bit of avocado oil and some sea salt. Delish. 
Hunter goes all out when he cooks. He cooks for like hours. You like to like do it right, you know? I'm like speedy bitch. I just like to <laughs> get it done. But you really put the love into it. Take your time. I right, got the buns kind of toasting. We have half the fries in here. We got more in the air fryer. Caramelized onions. We got the burgers. Bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, some secret sauce, pickles, onion. Okay, burgers were a smash. We are gonna do a little after dinner walk tonight, sporadically. Smokey just woke up from his nap. He's a little fussy. Um, so I think the walk will be perfect. I want to go blister. Then we're gonna do bath time and stuff. And I know I need still need to show you guys my sunglasses, so we're gonna do that later in this vlog. Just stay tuned, it's coming. And I'm gonna do a brand new Melville haul as well. Good morning, you guys. Um, we just got up and we're literally just chilling in bed. We're watching the Tennis Channel, some of the US Open. And Mr. Smokers already had his first baba. Good morning, you wanna say hi? <laughs> oh my goodness, he slept really good. 9 to 7.30. We will take it. We're trying to get... We're in the hair grabbing phase also, by the way. Excuse you. That hurts your mom. Hurts your mom really bad. Oh, thank you. Okay, you want this chill for a second? Ow. What's the plan? We're going to coffee. Yeah. I have a little bit of work I need to do today, but I, I want to do some fun activities. Yeah, we thought maybe we'd play some tennis today. We Ever since play. I got the whoop, I think I showed it on stories. Yeah, that keeps track with like your activity strain and like Hunter's obsessed. It's yeah. basically like the aura ring but more intense. But I I'm Should my I really get my aura ring back out. My biggest focus is on the activity strain because it shows that you're just like lazy. And so Well, it just really keeps you in check, doesn't it? Well it motivates me to get out and go do more stuff. Yeah. So I, today F forty five is closed down for Labor Day, today and tomorrow. So I have to find some stuff to do. Oh, I need to do my Brandy Melville haul for you guys and our sunglass unboxing. So I still haven't unboxed those. Believe it or not. Let's unbox the Salini sunglasses. Okay. I tried them on in the store, but it wasn't like 1000% that they were perfect on my face shape, which I was, pr I'm pretty good about knowing when they're gonna be perfect, but my face is just a little bit wide. It's the glasses. Great. They're so pretty. Look at that. And you guys know I love like a wire frame sunglass. Um, let me show you. Okay, these ones I have from Amazon while I was waiting for these to come in. So if you want the look, these are actually so cute. But let me show you the difference. So let's see. Okay. They're really nice. And they're like very vintage looking, which is what I wanted. My only concern is that they might not be... Nice. A little, they might be a little too narrow for my face, but I can't tell. Let me see. Just, they're well, not. They're they pretty good, cute. actually. They they look pretty cute. Good. You, you're questioning it too much. No, I know. I'm just, just really, own it. I'm really just freaking own it. I'm really specific about glasses on my face and if they balance. So, like, hey, look at that. Versus, obviously, these are way nicer, and I love, I love a nice sunglass. But look how these are a little bit wider. Do you see how they like balance my face better? So like, if these were just this, I don't know though, but do these gold things? I just don't know. Those like these look better on my face. Those are the Amazon? Yeah. Do you see the others? Do you see what I mean? They're a little bit more decorative because they have the gold piece on the end. They look good. Yeah, but it's it's not about that. It's about the sizing I know, of but the, si the, the lenses are smaller because you have the gold thing. But because of the gold thing, it still fills out your face. It does? Yeah. Okay, you guys let me gorgeous. know. I mean, they're so beautiful, I love them. Um, gorgeous, mommy looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, they don't really go with this, but they're so cute, I love them. They're really cute with like graphic tees and like more vintage things like a leather jacket or like a band tee or um, like a really simple like 
outfit like white t-shirt and jeans and then they're just because they're like more metal on them i don't know i just love them i am i'm obsessed with them look at this cute little pouch they come with that's actually so smart because i throw these glasses in my purse like this is really nice like, carries my glasses like that's this cute. it's cute yeah. you think so is that a phone case yeah no, it's a, a sunglass case. That's fun. It's pretty damn cool. Look at that too. Cute. It okay. comes with the sling and glasses? Yeah, it came with it. That's cool. I know, that's really cool. Okay. I mean, that, that alone is worth it. We love. Let me know if you guys think I'm crazy in the comments. Do they not balance my face or do they? Now, really quick brandy haul because I know everyone loves brandy. First things first, I already wore this yesterday. This is little like waffle boxy cut off long la, la, la. sleeve. Cute. What? Yeah. Next, I got a couple pair of like boxery boy shorts. They're like I sleep only in boy short underwear. So um, these are like little boy short briefs, and they're really cute. I slept in these ones last night. Where are they? I already put them in my drawer. So cute and um, super comfy. I like that they have like a lot of. Coverage. I mean, they're pretty mini, but they're cute. Next is this little striped tee. Oh, that would be cute with my outfit today. Love this. I just like, I love stripes. I have a stripe obsession lately. I'm really leaning into my stripe obsession. This tank says Hawaii on it. I just thought it was really cute. I like the navy letters. This would actually also go with my outfit. <laughs> love that. Um, this top I'm wearing right now is from Nay It's like... Uh, their new athletic line and it's really nice anyways um, this top I loved I love the little red flowers on this I'm really getting into like more color which I'm very happy about I'm still a neutral girl but you know basic little tee with navy borders which I thought was so cute and then this <laughs> mine in at mommy's haul <laughs> you were. <laughs> and then lastly is this long sleeve with like an eyelet pattern and then a little lace on it. So I love that just for, I was thinking for fall with like denim shorts and like a tall boot. Just like a really simple outfit. It'd be really cute. Um, but yeah, that's what I got from Brandy. They have really good basics. Um, if you like every shape and style you could probably want. They're definitely, it's not like, it's definitely more like a laid back beachy feel. So if your style is more like polished and sleek, you might not love it as much, but I love a very laid back silhouette, like not very tailored at times. So most of the days I like like really comfy, just chill stuff like that. So anyways, okay. So that's my little hauls for the morning. Okay, we forgot. Pregnancy test. You know, I think the reason we're forgetting it because it doesn't it doesn't feel like that's I, actually I true. Know. I don't I don't believe it. I don't think I But I either. feel like I'd have peace of mind if you just take one. I don't think I am. I think I've just been really tired. I didn't think so. But let's Okay, while we wait. So sweet. <laughs> you love that. <laughs> so cute. Booker, that's from the nursery, no. Do you think it's Oh, is it? Developed? Maybe. Okay, wait, how do oh we- Oh my gosh, that makes me stressed out again. I know. I'll just look. Oh my god. Thank wait, you. Wait, there's the- What? No, there's not. Uh, that was fast one. That was fast. Not pregnant, guys. Not pregnant. Oh my god, that was making me, <sighs> me nervous. No, thank you. Although we would love another one with you. Yes, we would. We're not we need ready. a little bit more time. Okay? Mwah. You just want to do more gymnastics. <laughs> you just want to do more gymnastics. Like this. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's actually pretty impressive he can stand. <laughs> so you can stand up like that. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Like okay. 